Hello everybody and welcome back. Long time no video up here. <laughs> so this video is another episode of Shop Local aka supporting your local stores and thrifting. I essentially was noticing a lot of my favorite YouTubing blogger type people who are super cute all have these coin necklaces on and I'm not talking about one I'm talking about like several of them always showing off their coin necklaces okay and I felt like I was really in like out of the loop some of them are like hella expensive <laughs> and I can't afford that and then some of them are like super cheap I couldn't find a really good balance and I also wanted it to have some sort of meaning to me so I started brainstorming. I thought, why don't I go to a rare coin store and find a coin that has a really freaking cool story to it? Shout out to the lovely guys at Goldmine Coins and Relics in Gig Harbor. They were super helpful and they had some really cool stuff there. There were T-Rex claws, Megalodon teeth. There was like a huge egg from an elephant bird. Have you ever even heard of an elephant bird? This coin is 1700 years old. Think about that. This is from 222 AD. Well, it's a Sever Severus Alexander. So I wrote everything down. So I so sound really mega smart, but I took all of this information from historical websites and Wikipedia. I think it's really interesting. It's cool to imagine where this has been and what this has seen in time. Here's a little history on Severus Alexander. So he was a Roman emperor who reigned from 222 AD to 235 AD. After his cousin was assassinated, Severus was only 14 years old when he became emperor of Rome. His reign was known as peaceful and prosperous. Basically his mom was his, ad his advisor and had a lot of power and influence over his decisions within the government, which actually lost a lot of his respect from the Roman soldiers and that eventually led to his assassination. So this what from what I understand also would have been about a day's worth of wage. It's hard to say because based off of the products and services that we offer are completely different from what they needed and they are not comparable whatsoever. You know, somebody who works for Google couldn't really be like, well, that's the same as somebody who chucked some wheat all day. Like, not the same thing. <laughs> in order to get clean, they had to go pay to go take a bath in a bathhouse. I go to work and apply cosmetics and skincare products to people's faces. Is that a day's worth of wage for somebody working in the bathhouses, you know? Was this the value of one week's worth of going to a bathhouse? Did somebody pay a gladiator to fight another gladiator with this? Did this buy a donkey? How many gladiators do you think I could have bought with this? Could you imagine being a Roman emperor at the age of 14 and somebody's like slapping your face on a coin already? This is silver, by the way, a silver Roman relic. It was 35 originally and he gave it to me for 30. The ones that I found online are around 50 to 100. I asked him, by the way, I hope that you're not offended or anyone here that's collectors and coin collectors that I'm going to be putting a hole in the top of this thing, this ancient relic that I'm going to be just slamming a hole right through the head of this guy. And he's like, oh, well, I have an entire shop in the back. This is a jewelry repair shop too. So he just did it for me. And I am going to head to a couple of places. The first place I'm gonna go is the Goodwill. I feel like if I just get a necklace that already has a pendant on it that just I don't need, taking that off and just replacing it with this sounds ideal. Otherwise, if I don't find something that looks like it's gonna fit this, I'm going to go to the craft store and find a necklace there. I can't start a crafting adventure without some coffee to start. So that's gonna be the first thing on the agenda is... Ah! All right, next on the shop local agenda for the day, next to the Goodwill is a craft store. So I feel like if I can't find what I'm looking for there, I could pop over to the craft store right next to it. The last time I tried to come to this Goodwill, it was closed because there was a fire in the uh, men's clothing department. I thought it was strange that the signs are so specific. And it looks like the Halloween stuff's out. <sighs> Do you know how exciting that is? Oh, shit. This one's hit or miss. I've had some really good days here and I've had some like no good days. 
uh, zero luck at the Goodwill. There wasn't even jewelry there. I never thought about that. I never thought about how this Goodwill is one of the ones that doesn't have those big glass cases with jewelry. There was a recliner with a very old man asleep in it, snoring so loud. <laughs> so now I came to Artco. This is where I'm headed next. So I'm gonna try this place and see if I can find a necklace. Okay, so I am in my garage. I just got back and I'm going to run upstairs and show you guys how I'm gonna put this together. But I did have success at the craft store and I'm happy to report that Art Co. Craft is local. So it falls into the lines of my shopping local trend. So I'm gonna go inside and show you guys what I got. So it was a dollar for the chain. And this chain looks like it's gonna match my pendant that I got from my husband for our, our something the anniversary. <laughs> We're on our eighth year, so this was our fourth or fifth. And then I got these fundamental findings jump rings for $2.99. I only need one jump ring. Good thing I have 100. 178 to be exact. And my local Cafe Vita, Cafe Elite Coffee, is delish. Serving the sound since 1991. Thanks to the best customers, Terry and Kelly Myers. Thanks for delicious coffee and an amazing staff. Everybody that works there are always so nice. All right. Got all my tools, let's get to building. Should be pretty easy. These types of things need little containers or else it's just a recipe for disaster. So I'm going to take pliers and scissors. I'll hold it. Open that up just a tad. Squish it together. There we go. All right, and the moment of truth. Oh my goodness. It came out exactly as I imagined. So I now have my version of the double tier coin necklace. And even though it's silver and not gold, it does match my Tiffany's pendant. And I just think it looks mega cool for $35 total. I have a Roman relic around my neck. If you're into this kind of stuff, you and me, you and me. <laughs> We will get along. I hope you guys enjoy these types of videos. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Otherwise, please go to SiennaMariah.com to check out my weekly favorites. I've been doing blog posts over there of my favorite wrap-up of the week. And also follow me on Instagram. Those are a lot of demands. But I'll follow you back if you want me to. Just ask. I'll follow you back. All right, you guys. Thanks for your support. And I'll see you on the next video.